What's going on guys? So today we're talking about my favorite cheap pen from Walmart. Uh, these are of course available all over the place. It's made by Pilot. This is the Frixation um, Clicky or Clickable. Let's see. Look at the uh, thing here. Clicker. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. So yeah, it's made by Pilot. The Ball Frixation Clicker. All right, this one is number five. It is an erasable pen. They come in a variety of colors and looks. So this has a white body. Um, I believe this one's black ink. This one's a red body with red ink. They come, you know, black and blue. They come in single packs. They come in all different colors. I think there's like a, a 10 pack of, it looks like markers, like all different crazy colors. So if you like to draw or doodle or something, you can get every color under the sun. Uh, very, very affordable. Anywhere from two to five dollars for a single one. Again, just depends on where you're buying it. If you go to somewhere like Staples or an office supply store, you might spend a little bit more than if you bought it at Walmart or Amazon or something. Um, but there's such a variety of, of options for this particular type of pen, and I love these pens. I was actually turned on to these uh, from my wife. She had the white one here, and uh, I loved it, and I'll tell you exactly why in just a moment. But first, I just want to talk about just pens in general. Uh, the reason I'm making this video is because I had a conversation about pens. Someone was uh, asking me maybe a week ago or so, uh, what's a good EDC pen? You guys know I absolutely love the Fisher Space Pen, the Bullet. Uh, particularly for like uh, little pocket organizers and stuff. It's just so compact, so nice. The pressurized cartridges just work. They're just great. Um, and of course, you know, if you want to write underwater for some random reason, they do that too, or upside down, writing in space and so forth. That's where the, the whole gimmick was originally, right? That because they're pressurized, you can literally write upside down and gravity doesn't matter. Whereas a normal cheap pen, uh, at some point writing upside down, the ink just wouldn't flow anymore. But anyway, um, so I have a, a little bit of a pen collection. I probably have maybe 20 or so pens, uh, ranging from, you know, 15, 20 bucks for like a kind of cheap tactical <laughs> type pen, uh, only up to a couple pens that have like Tamascus and they're hundreds of dollars. Uh, I do like using my higher quality pens. Uh, I have a couple from Billet Spin, which I've done videos on before, which are just amazing. They just work really well. Uh, they feel good, they look good. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's like any other type of gear. When you use something that's high quality, it just makes you feel good. You know, it's usually a, a performing uh, factor that's mixed in there as well. They just work better, generally speaking. An expensive knife generally works better than a cheap knife. An expensive pen just is more satisfaction. Now, pens are a little bit different because the blade steel in a pen is just the ink cartridge. Now, you can have a super cheap pen with a very expensive ink cartridge, and it works the same as an extremely expensive pen. I think the biggest case for that would be like uh, Mont Blanc, right? The, the famous pen company. People can spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars or more on those pens, but at the end of the day, the ink inside of it and the performance of the pen is the same if you happen to use that ink cartridge in a cheaper pen. Way back in the day, when I was on like blade forums and knifeforums.com, people would talk about random EDC gear here and there. The, the term EDC wasn't even a thing back then, but um, those uh, those people would would you know figure that out at some point. Like, oh wow, I, you know, I got this buddy. He's a businessman. He's got this like fifty thousand dollar Mont Blanc and. Uh, I realized that the insert for that pen uh, fits in this particular Parker pen for 20 bucks or whatever. You know, so people were playing with that idea even way back in the day. It'd be cool if you can get a $5 knife and just swap out, you know, a, uh, an S35BN blade or something, you know, but it, the knife world is definitely a little bit different in that case. Pens, obviously, some inserts will fit into other pens. At the same point, you could put a very cheap insert into an extremely expensive body. Um, so pens are a little bit different than knives and other gear in that respect. But anyway, the point of me explaining all this is that I've used cheap pens, I've used expensive pens, disposable, and just very high-end stuff. And there is satisfaction. You know, I, I sit at a desk every day and I, I use my pen every day. I make notes. Um, uh, when I'm testing gear, I'll, I'll jot down notes because I'm testing so many different things at so many different times. It, I just couldn't possibly remember it all. You know, when it comes time for a knife review, if it's a knife that I haven't physically uh, carried in, you know, months, I like to look back at those notes, right? Uh, same thing for like specs. I'll jot down specs occasionally so I don't forget about them. You know, maybe a weight, maybe a blade steel on a knife, if it's not marked, things like that. So I'm constantly writing with pens and I've used everything under the sun. There is satisfaction using a nice quality pen. Um, but one of the things I use pens the most for is my bills. So uh, once a month, I uh, sit down and I write out all my bills, you know, longhand. I don't like typing things. I don't like notes, digital notes on my phone. I just literally have a book, you know, an old school, like five, uh, five subject notebook. And I just write out all my bills, every person that I owe, my monthly bills, maybe additional bills, maybe credit cards, things like that. 
And uh, for years I've used, you know, my nicer pens for that case. But at some point, my wife gave me one of these um, because one of my nicer pens, the uh, ink cartridge ran out and she happened to be sitting next to me. So she just handed me this, I started using it. Now at this point, I have never used an erasable pen. I know that sounds stupid, but I just haven't used them. Uh, I, if I want to erase something, I'll use a pencil or I just have ink and it's permanent, that's it. Um, so I wasn't, you know, used to using erasable pens and you know, she told me like, yeah, this is a really good one. So I started using it for my bills and I haven't looked back. I've used this for months now. I love these pens. I love the idea of an erasable pen, period, because when I'm doing my bills and I write out a number and I'm using my calculator and I'm like, okay, then, oh man, I put a five instead of a three. And I have to literally like scribble it out and write it next to it. It looks sloppy, it gets confusing sometimes. Um, so the idea that I can just literally erase it and rewrite what I meant to write is really wonderful. And in, in some cases, I might run out of room on something where I'm adding up numbers on the particular piece of paper and usually like I would put like a little asterisk or something and then continue it somewhere else on the page. But in this case, I can just erase the uh, information I don't need anymore and put the, the number that I do need. So there's a lot of situations where having an erasable pen is extremely beneficial, uh, specifically in, in what I use pens for every single day and, uh, and all the bills and stuff. So uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Um, as you saw, it just clicks on the side. So the pocket clip does work, but that's what you're pushing down to actually you know, take out the pen tip to write and let's say I'm writing a number let's say it's uh, 5384.97 ah oh, I meant to do point uh, eight seven so I just come in with the back it uses heat and friction I don't know the science behind this but it works it works really really well all right so there you go five thousand three hundred eighty four eighty seven so this is um this is just awesome. I really love these pens. Again, they come in different colors. The red one, if I wanted to, um, I don't know, sign my name or something. There you go. Oh no, I don't want to sign my name there. I want to sign it somewhere else on the page. So just go ahead and erase it all. So I mean, you know, maybe some of you guys who know better could certainly write down in the comment section the science behind how this works. Again, it's using friction and heat. I suppose, to erase the ink, uh, but it's just, it is super, super cool. So let's say 93.85, oh no, that five came out like crap. I can't really read that. Let me just go ahead and erase this and rewrite it a little better. And there you go. So the actual, uh, the ink itself, um, if I zoom in really close, you might be able to tell how it's writing. Oh. Of course, got blurry at the last second. I thought I can get super close. All right, let's leave it like that. Let me switch back to the black ink here. Oops. All right, so as I'm, I'm drawing, the line, you can see it's soaking in the paper because I'm going slow. But I generally don't go that slow. If you go slower, you can see it's a little bit of a darker, thicker line. But when I write uh, quickly, you can see the lines are, they're almost like an outline, like the very center where the point of the pen is pushing on the paper um, it's a little bit lighter or white so sometimes when I'm, I'm writing it looks as if maybe the ink is running out a little bit uh, that's the only downside to this all right but I use this all the time now and uh, I mean I can read it totally fine it's just something worth pointing out if you literally you know write slower you can see the ink pooling and it's again much darker as opposed to you know a lighter uh, lighter line you know but uh, yeah, I mean, these pens are fantastic. Like I said, they're cheap, it's a cheap option. If you happen to need pens for school or something or for work and you do want the erasable option, it is really, really good. I highly recommend these. Again, I'm making this video because I do occasionally get you know questions about pens and stuff. Um, it's a full size, cheap plastic pen, you know? So as far as EDC, I mean, if you have a, a larger organizer or if you just clip this to your pocket or bag or something like that, that's cool. Uh, I do wish that they had this, uh, and maybe you guys know of it, I don't know of any, but if they had a cool, you know, EDC little titanium erasable pen or something like that, yeah, I'd be all over it. I love that kind of stuff. Um, but this is like a house pen. I don't, I don't take these other places if I'm out and about. I take a regular traditional pen uh, most times, as mentioned, the, uh, the Bullet um, Space Pen from Fisher. That is my go-to just because I love it so much. Uh, but occasionally I will, you know, carry one of my other, you know, EDC pens that are a little bit more expensive. I have like the... Um, you know, the, the larger organizers um, that I keep like on my uh, hip, 
that's a little bit different. I can carry, you know, a much larger pen. But uh, anyway, just wanted to touch upon the subject a little bit, just so you guys know. These I happen to like a lot. Uh, so if you wanted to EDC this, I mean, I don't see why not. Especially, like I said, if you're in, in grade school or middle school or high school or college or whatever, or you happen to write a lot at work uh, and you want the availability to erase if you happen to make a lot of mistakes or something, uh, I just think it's cool. And they're cheap and they're available everywhere. Like I said, Amazon, um, you can get them on eBay, you can get them uh, at Walmart, you can get them at, you know, all the different office supply stores. All those chains, they all have these. Anyway, there you go. Just wanted to uh, talk about this and mention these. Let me know down in the comment section if you happen to use these pens. But again, specifically for when I do bills where I have limited space on my paper or I'm just writing a lot and I you know, make a mistake and I want to erase it. If I'm balancing my checkbook or something, that's, that's huge because I have limited space there. If I mess up a number, I don't want to have to like cross it off and do another line or anything like that. Um, so it's, it's fantastic for billing and kind of important paperwork and stuff. Um, but you know, as far as EDC, I don't EDC these, you know, I like to carry a nicer little pen if I have to, if I know I'm going to be using a pen somewhere, if I'm signing something, going to the bank or one of those type situations, I'll bring a nice pen, you know, just to be kind of professional. And people are usually impressed when you have your own pen for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just where I live. People are unprepared. I don't, I don't know. But whenever I've taken a pen out, like someone's like goes to hand me, you know, a pen to sign something. I'm like, oh, I got it. And I take my own pen out. I do get compliments, you know, oh, nice pen, oh, that's cool, what's that, you know, and it's a very short discussion about it, but, uh, you know, it brings me some satisfaction, and I just like being prepared. But for home, when I'm doing bills and stuff, that's it right there. Uh, I love these, the Pilot Fixation Clickers, very, very cool. Down in the comment section, let me know your favorite pen. I know a lot of people like, like, I used to like the gel pens, and I used to like, uh, the Bic disposable pens. I've gone through everything before, but I've really settled on these specifically for when I need something that uh, I might make mistakes or something and I need to erase it. So anyway, that's all. But let me know your favorite pens in the comment section. Cheap, expensive, custom, whatever. If you're into it, I'd like to hear about it. So that's all for now. See you guys tomorrow. Take care.